Well, a, a nice remark is these Kendall helmets are being built in New Zealand. They're, they're made especially for a specific guy. They take all your measurements from your head and they, they make especially for you. It's quite expensive. It costs three and a half thousand euros, but this is the best there is. Every self-respecting Warbird pilot flies with a Kendall helmet. Helmet. Yeah. And, and ferry, his cost six thousand because your head? My head is just... <laughs> My head is overfilled with huge, <laughs> with, with huge and brain matter, etc. Yeah, exactly. So, brain yeah. matter. So, Hermie, my man, get your back in that airplane. Go sit oh, in the man. back seat where I, we, we always go. sit Stiff and like. feel like a king. <laughs> yeah. And crank her up and text no, her. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Get in, get in, get in, anyway, get in. You don't want to get your. You're recording this? I'm a stiff like a log, you know. Okay. I'll give it a shot. I've done it before, but. Gaat hij in de front seat zitten? Okay. Now I'm gonna have to sit in the back seat. If he's if he's going to sit in the front seat, uh, I need to sit in the back seat. I've never had such a big stick between okay, you. Herbie. What did he just say? I've never had such a big stick between you. Okay, I'm just joining you. Yep, sit in. Here we go. <laughs> and here we are, together. Okay. Yep. Mr. Instructor. Yes, sir. Yes. This is my first uh, flight. Um, I'm always troubled by air sickness. I put on a diaper. Yeah. Because I think you're going to pull many G's and then. Yeah, yeah. I if you feel know. something go, coming up, give okay. me a call. Yeah. I will put the airplane in a side slip and then oh. you can barf over the side. Do you have a bucket? Uh, no bucket. Scoop back. Oh, you do it over the side and the best news comes now. And you know what is the good. The good the good thing is, no, the good news is after if I, if I do it, it, it'll fly in his direction. No, 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 because I put the airplane in a side slip, it goes <laughs> on okay. the side. But right. coming back, all the remnants of your lunch, lunch. Uh, you're gonna have to clean it yourself. I'm not doing it. Okay. Here's my good pal Ferry again, and he is now going to show us, with the help of Rudy, how to pre-flight a Boeing Stearman. Yeah. Well, off, Barry. it all starts in the cockpit. Why? There are some switches in there, uh, which we don't want to be on. They have to be off, and we check the magnetos and the fuel and the master switch to be off, all of them, in order to be sure that whenever we touch a propeller, that the thing will not crank itself. Uh, that's basically like it. So I always start here. Uh, look at the general condition of the windows, look, look at the front window, the rear window. Uh, the other day we missed this little screw, so really uh, Ruth put in a new one. Uh, this, this little thing here, this it vibrated out, so we, he put in a new one. Then uh, what I do is uh, we walk around it. Uh, these are the ailerons. We look at these connections right here. They have to be okay and they have to be secured, these little pins. Then there's another one over here and I just look at it, as I look at free movements. I look at this strut on the rear side. Shoot, there's no play? Yeah, and there's, there's no, uh, it's, it's secured, same here. Then I look at the general condition of the wing right here leading edge. And a nice little thing to add as well, you also feel and check here at the bottom of the wing because the, the pilot before you might have hit Something. in a ground loop yeah. to ground so yeah. you know for sure that it's not you and that it's all correct. But this of course has to be removed before flight. Uh, this is a pito head cover. Why? Sometimes little insects can crawl in and you know you have a very nasty surprise if you go airborne and you don't have no speed indication or something else. So look at the strut from top to bottom. Of course, you also take a very good look at the flying wires, at the connections, at the, if they are properly secured. I always feel like this. The connector, the flying wire connector. And then I go forward. What I can tell you as well, is that before we start flying with the Boeing Stearman, with this one, or any other big radial engine, we need to pre-oil the engine. What happens? Oil is all over the place in these lower cylinders. And if I would start the engine right away, what would happen is this cylinder would definitely blow off. So during my pre-flight, during my pre-flight routine, I always pre-oil the airplane. You see? 
the oil is coming out. What I usually do is I pick it up in a bottle. That bottle is being put back in the reservoir over here. Okay. Good. The left hand gear strut. These are our survival equipment during landings and takeoffs. Extremely strong, very sturdy. I look at these connections right here. Uh, I look at them um, and you have to realize that uh, once a year Ruth does the annual inspection and everything is oiled and greased, etc. But we, I just look at it. Look at this little step. Then I move forward. And before you, before you start asking how, how can you climb up on the nose, Ruth is a master of climbing uh, on these airplanes. He's absolutely fantastic. You will step on the wheel, then he, on this, then there, and then you step on top of it. If I do it, I will probably kill myself. So. And then you, can you imagine, he's three months younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving forward, uh, I take a general look at the engine, at all the cylinders, if there are no leakages. Uh, usually there are no leakages, and it's always a little bit greasy because of oil coming out. The radio engine, the radio engine always leaks oil. When do I get nervous? When it doesn't leak, because there's no oil in it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely true. Basically, the other side of the airplane is uh, exactly the same procedure as for checking everything. Anyway, um, we came to the horizontal stabilizer. Again, two flying wires to inspect. Look at the stabilizer. Watch your, watch your head. Yeah, watch your head indeed. Look at the stabilizer, look at the general condition. Now, these, this is very important to check. This hinge right over here. I mean, if this thing breaks, I will not have a rudder anymore. So I always look at the condition here. It's very important. And look at these connections as well. Well, a, a nice remark is here that we uh, change the tail wheel for an, uh, an, a tail wheel that's all rubber. There's no inner tire, so we never have a lead tire over there. Yeah. And, and who is Jack? No, that is... <laughs> Who's Jack? <laughs> well, Jack is the guy that lost the Jack, right? No, it's just to lift the tail if you want. It's a jacking point. Now look at all our folds. This is our uh, cargo compartment. It's a little bit smaller than Hermann's cargo compartment in his 747. However, we can carry all sorts of stuff in here, uh, and we usually do. Uh, this is an original, an original Army Air Corps bag, which belonged to the airplane. And you see some events where we participated. Uh, and it contains seconds. the airplane logbooks. Yeah, it contains the air airplane logbook, etc. And, uh, and an extra spare helmet if we fly passengers without helmets. We promised you a walk around and that's what you got. So please subscribe to Pal Farmer Aviation and we'll see you in the next clip. And we'll, it will be a nice flight. We will, we'll, 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 we'll be flying. We'll yeah. really fly. Yeah, yeah. We'll go Definitely. flying, Hermie. We're going to make, gonna make you sick. We're going to make you sick. Because they only got two no. seats. We're going to let you pull some Gs. <laughs> oh, Series cool, G cool. pulling, cool. Hermie. Yeah. 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 Hey. I'll have to put on the diapers there. All righty. <laughs> diapers. <laughs> yeah. Hermie.